So this is just a short review for calculus based physics. Just want to give you an idea of what's on the final. Should take you less than an hour to do. So there are four problems. And um, one of them is uh, I'm going to give you a position vector, essentially. And you have to calculate velocity and acceleration. Make sure you know how to deal with unit vector notation. What that means is where you have, say, an r vector, your position vector is a function of time, is going to be some f of t times i, the unit vector in the x direction, g of t in the j direction, plus h of t in the k direction. So that's unit vector notation. I may give it to you in component notation. You have to make it into unit vector notation. OK, the next one is uh, given a as a function of time, a vector as a function of time. So again, it could be f of t times i plus g of t times j plus h of t times k unit vector. And then, you know, I'd have to give you v, um, the position vector at zero that's given, and the uh, velocity vector and the position vector at you know, some initial condition. You just have to integrate. Here you have to take the derivative. You have, here you have to take the integral. And they're just going to be polynomials. Um, then I want you to be able to calculate the torque vector. So the torque vector um, given the position vector and the force vector. So it's just a matter of taking a cross product of two vectors and coming up with the answer. So it's pretty simple. And then uh, finally, the work is equal to the integral of the force vector dotted with the dx or ds vector. Now, uh, this is what we would call a, a well, yeah, line integral. Not really a line integral, it's just a dot product. Um, so f is a function of is not a function of t, but a function of x, this position. So the force vector is a function of the position vector. Um, in this case, uh, there's the force and the, uh, the displacement vector are in the same direction. So it's just a matter of integrating f of x with respect to x, and you get the work. Um, remember, work is a scalar force as a vector. This, this dot product results in a, in a scalar. But from your perspective, you just because these are in the same direction, the dot product just changes this to the um, integral of the force value with respect to x. OK, so that's it. Um, so pretty straightforward.